Blair here and this is the fourth video in our color theory videos and this week we are going to talk about monochrome. So in a monochrome picture there will only be one color. As you can see in these pictures it's more commonly known to be black and white but there can also be many variations of monochrome. The difference between the colors is it goes from black to white. So this is the tone of the picture. So the tone of a color is when it goes from the darkest tone, which is black, and then it gradually makes its way to white. And then you've got all of the colors in between. So this is all blue, but as you can see here, there's a lot more black added to it. Then there's less black until we start adding white to the blue, until we get to the white. Then you can go lighter than that, but we stopped there. Okay, so, for this week's activity, we are going to be doing a monochrome landscape or cityscape. I will show you some pictures here. So as you can see, there are lots of options. You can do any color you like. I have picked this one here. This is one that I did. I'm going to show you how I did this one. So this is like a a Tuscany landscape, so a picture from Italy, but you can pick whichever landscape or cityscape you want to do. Okay, so get your paints out and we will paint a monochrome landscape. All right, so for this activity, you will need a piece of paper that you can paint on, a pencil to do our first drawing, and your paint, so the color that you choose, which I chose blue, white and black, as well as an extra mixing dish, your paint brushes and water and a cloth to clean your paint brushes. Okay, so the first step is to draw in our picture. So I will start by doing my far away lines and because I picked an image of Tuscany, the hills are very, are very smooth and quite flat but if you chose an image of mountains or a city or something else, then your hills might be quite different to start off with. All right, so I've drawn in my picture and the next step is I will put that aside I need to mix up my colors. So in my picture, I have the sky, which will be the lightest color. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sections. So that means I need seven shades of blue. So I will mix up seven shades of blue going from the lightest blue to the darkest blue. So I'm going to use every spatula like this, which will be much easier to start mixing my colors. So I will start from the lightest to the darkest.
Okay, so there I've got my lightest blue all the way to, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to my darkest. So that means that we can start. Okay, I'm going to start from the top to the bottom. So that means we're going to start with the lightest color. So I'm going to add actually a bit more white to my blue, the lightest blue, and paint the sky in. And I might add some clouds as well, although you can do whatever you want. And while my paint is still wet, I'm going to add my clouds in, which I'm going to get just a bit of white. While it's wet, you can mix it in a little bit easier. Now onto my next color, which is the next hill down there. I'm going to go into my next blue for this hill is behind this one because this line crosses over there so I'm going to paint this one the next blue. Now I'm going to do the hill in front of that which is this one here. Now I'm going to go on to this one here. To get this effect, if you put your paint on and while it's still wet, just add a bit of water down the bottom and you'll see that the paint blends from the darkest color to the water and you can get that effect. And my next hill here. And now for my last one down here. And there we have our finished monochromatic landscape. Make sure you send your photos in if you do these activities so that we can see them and show everyone else in the following weeks. Thank you.